Hey everybody, this is Byte Music coming at you tonight. I had a request from someone to do a tutorial on uh, how to route your Get Good Drums Mount Helper Pack through your Ableton Live 9. So this is for all you Ableton Live 9 uh, users looking to rock out with some uh, Matt Halpern drum sounds. Um, right over here is just a cheat sheet. You don't have to uh, stare at that or anything. It's just uh, something to follow along with just in case you can't keep up. But what I'm going to do is uh, start off a new project or a new live set in Ableton. I'm going to just for um, to make it easier on my eyes, I'm going to delete all the audio tracks, reverb, delay, just to make it look nicer. I'm weird like that, I guess. Oh, well. But uh, I leave a MIDI track open because this is how your uh, contact is going to uh, work. You're going to run it through there. Click it open. Okay. And you'll see uh, a preset output preset already configured here. What I'm going to do, if you just follow what I do step by step, um, it will work. I know it'll seem weird, and if you have any questions, just leave any comments or whatever, but just kind of follow along. Uh, so what I'm going to do is hit output. I'm going to leave quantity at 1. It's kind of a tricky part. Because um, I'm, what I'm basically doing is just refreshing. I'm starting over uh, because I already have a preset number amount of outputs here. So I want to just refresh. Um, that way Ableton Live will be able to recognize uh, each instrument. And it'll make more sense as we go along. So, uh, the quantity, I leave it one. The number of channels is two, just for stereo purposes. Um, sound card host output, I, I select KTST1. Uh, I will highlight these next three. I know it seems confusing, but I will just do it. Like I said, just follow the steps. Uh, this box will come up. And just click OK. So now you'll see the configuration or preset configuration, batch configuration, whatever you want to call it, is now set to these five right here. So now, seems weird, but this is just how I do it. I'm going to exit out of contact. I'm going to delete contact. I'm going to load it up again with uh, contact five. I know that Nolly from Periphery, had a, uh, he did his tutorial video, which he uses, I think he emphasized the importance of using uh, 16 out contact uh, contact 5 version but for me this is just what it uh, works for me so I'm going to open up contact 5 I'm going to do the same kind of steps again but add a different number of outputs so add quantity this time I'll do it I'm going to follow Nolly from peripheries um, how he does it so I'm just going to put it at 16 just for fun just for giggles uh, sound card, I'm going to go to KTST1 again. And again, I'm going to highlight all three of these. That's the tricky part. That I think it, it took me forever to figure this out, but this is just what works, so I would just do this. Um, so hit OK. Again, that box will come up. Hit OK. So that'll give you your ST16, 1 through 16, and then your auxes at the end. I don't really do anything with auxes. But, um, okay, so anyways, I'm going to then add the names of each uh, instrument. And what I want to start off with is a master or a main kind of output. And it'll make more sense in the end because whenever it's, it's to help uh, Ableton recognize the, the individual ones because... For some reason, it likes to recognize this one as the first one. So I, I would put kick here, but it would start at the second one. It would start at snare, because I like to use snare second. So what I'm going to do is just kind of move it over and put kick first here. That way, Ableton will recognize it. So snare, toms, uh, cymbals, overhead. Near room, far room, 
or however you want to divide all this up. Symbols, far room. I'm going to put hi hat here. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is hit this uh, presets batch configuration. And this is kind of an important step because when you open it again, it'll save it. I'm going to go to save current output section state as default. Go over to VST plugin and hit that. And now I'm going to restart contact again. And I know it's confusing, but just keep following. So contact five. See there, it kind of starts up automatically. So you got your master kick snare, etc. Uh, so this time I'm going to open Halpern drums. Okay, so before I get any further, I'm going to cop or paste my drum loop here. You can probably hear it. Let's see. Yep, there it goes. And you can see it goes through the map. You can see it right here. Let me loop this real quick. Let me loop it. And you can see the, the input read through here, the master. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of that just for a second. Don't delete it, but just exit out. I just want to move it so I can add my tracks in Ableton. So I think I used about nine of the outputs, but I'm just going to put ten tracks just for my instrument, the different uh, pieces of the kit. So I think I had the kick first. I'm going to rename them first. So kick, snare, toms, oops, kick, snare, toms, uh, let's see, let's go back there and see what, I'm going to do it in order just to make, it'll make my life easier in the end. So we had kick, snare, toms, cymbals, overhead, near room, far room, I had cymbals, Symbols, overhead, near room, far room, and hi-hat. So, we had that all set up. I'm going to expand this just to make it easier on my eyes. Okay, I'm going to go back to contact. Alright, so this is where I'm going to, if you see my cursor here, I'm going to circle the fader kind of area where you can move it up and down the kick and whatnot. I'm going to go through each one and basically route them through to uh, Ableton. I think this is this is one of the bigger points here. So now I will take the kick close mic and put it to kick. I'll take the overhead kick and put it to kick. I will put the near room kick, put it to kick and so on and so forth. Snare, I will go to snare, snare, I will go to snare, snare, snare. Overhead, I'll go over overhead over here. Near room, there's the near room. Match the far room to the far room. Go to toms, let's see. Toms to toms. Toms, toms. Toms, toms. And toms, toms. The overhead will go to overhead. Near room will go to near room. Far room, far room. Symbols, same thing here, but except hi hat, I'm going to match it to hi hat. Ride will go under symbols just for this uh, demonstration. Stack again, symbols. Everything else will be symbols except for the rooms, of course. Excuse me. Overhead to overhead, near room to near room, far room to far room. Okay. So, I'm going to go back to my Ableton setup. So as you can hear, I'm playing the uh, drums and nothing is going on. So what I'm going to do is highlight all of the tracks. And I'm going to hit in, this in button here. In. Okay, I'm going to close or um, deselect the one part here. Um, 
Okay. All right, so I'm going to go back to this view. So for audio from, you see this part here, I'm going to, again, highlight all of the tracks and go to audio form right here where it says X E X T N. I'm going to go to contact that way. As you can see, as you can see all of them, if you highlight them and then hit contact, they will, it's just to save you time. They will all come up as contact five. So, what I'm going to do now is go to where it says post mixer here. Um, I have the song playing and you can actually see the audio right there from each of the routed parts. So that's why I, ha I renamed them before I started just to make our lives easier during this step. So that's why I thought it was a, I emphasized the point that it's important to do that part to make your life easier pretty much. So I'm going to, for kick, that's why I named it kick. I'm going to go down to kick. Oops. Kick. And now you can hear the kick. You can hear it by itself too. So for snare, I'm going to go down to snare. Now you can hear those two going on. Toms, same thing with toms. There's the toms. Cymbals. Overheads, I got overheads here. Let's see, overheads. You can hear a little bit of the hi hats in there too. Uh, near room, I'm going to go to near room. Go down to far room. And hi hat. There we go. And I'm going to go back to this view just to kind of illustrate. There's the loop. It, go back to it. But as you can see, they're now all routed to their uh, separate instruments into separate tracks into Ableton Live 9. So there's a little cheat sheet over here in case you get confused or anything. Um, but yeah, basically that's pretty much it. Um, I hope that helps anyone or everyone or all you Ableton Live 9 users uh, route your stuff. Um, so again, I'm Byte Music, and uh, thanks for tuning in. And I'll pull up my there's my SoundCloud page, in case anyone wants to listen to. I have some tracks up here listed. So I'm Byte Music, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe if you have time. And thank you very much for listening.